All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, Great Millstone, and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, that's pushing his truth and truth and sincerity. All right, and um, hey, these, these are signs of the end. All right, it says a 6.0 earthquake strikes during. Total solar eclipse seen across Chile and Argentina. And um, Chile and Argentina is home of Naphtali, all right? You so-called Chileans and Argentinians, all right? One of the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? And these, this is an end-time event, all right? So I'm going to just get into it, <clears throat> get into the article. It says, uh, significant... Magnitude 6.0 earthquake 67 kilometers north of Kalama, Chile from Monday 14th, December 2020, the year of prophecy. And earthquakes are prophecy according to the scriptures. All right. So it says, Impress reported a magnitude 6.0 earthquake in Chile near Kalama, Provincia de El Loa, Antofagasta only nine minutes ago. All right, this is from earlier in the day. The earthquake hit around noon on Monday, Monday the 14th, December 2020, at 12.20 p.m. local time at an intermediate depth of 149 kilometers. The exact magnitude, epicenter, and depth of the quake might be revised within the next few hours or minutes as seismologists review data and refine their calculations or as other agencies issue their report. Based on the preliminary seismic data, the quake should not have caused any significant damage, but was probably felt by many people in light vibration in the area of the epicenter. Weak shaking might have been felt in Kalama, population 143,100, located 67 kilometers from the epicenter. Yeah, you're telling me there's 143 people that lived near this earthquake and nobody got hurt. All right, so, hey, these earthquakes... All right, they're end time biblical prophecy. All right, and then there was an eclipse, man. Hey, the Lord is working, man. All right, let's go to Acts right quick. Um, Acts chapter two, verse thirty one. First, uh, excuse me. <clears throat> Acts uh, two and seventeen, and it shall come to pass in the last days. Which we in now, saith the Most High God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. So the Lord is going to pour his spirit upon all flesh. You, have, you even have Edomites talking about they have dreams of the RFID chip. All right. So verse 18, and on my servants and, and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and then shall prophesy. Now don't get it twisted. Alright. Edomites don't have the spirit of prophecies. It's the Lord that's putting a spirit on them to testify what they dreamed about or what they saw. Okay. They're not they can't come out from the scriptures, man. Alright. You know, because Jay begins simple. Verse 19, and I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth, beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. So you're going to see signs in the heavens like eclipses, blood wolf moons, super blood wolf moons. All right. Even even the moon on, on um, a regular full moon. They're not even regular. I mean, it's like the moon is just right there in your face. All right. And people don't see these signs in the heavens that the Lord Yahweh Shah is coming back along with the earthquakes. Verse 21, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, shall be saved. All right. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go to another passage in the scriptures. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us. What shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming at the end of the world? Now, that word uh, world, 
all right, is the word eon because there's three different types of definitions, all right, for world, all right. You have eon, okimene, eon, okimene, and um, cosmos. And this this one, when you look it up, it's eon, which means an end of an age, all right. Just like us, all right, the disciples and Yahweh Shai were under the oppression of the Edomites, all right. Just like we are today here in America. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am anointed, and shall deceive many. That's what you see with these other Israelite groups telling you to take that jab, telling you to take the RFID chip, saying it's, it's not it, saying it's spiritual. And you should, have, you should hear wars or rumors of wars. You know, you just had this nuclear scientist from Iran that got murdered three weeks ago, and they're blaming it on Israel. And that's going to fulfill Jeremiah 49 and 20, where the least of the flocks should draw them out. When Israel decides to invade Iran, all right, that's heating up right now. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation. You're going to see different um, racial tension here in America and kingdom against kingdom. All right, these different uh, factions from different countries going against each other. And there shall be famines. All right, people, even in America, America's turned into a third world country. People are stealing from the grocery store because they can't afford basic food necessities. All right, people are, are uh, in food banks for hours on end. But but yet these people are still proud. Here it is, you, you sit in the car for 12 hours to get a box full of food, and you're still proud. You're still on social media glorifying yourself as if, as if these people glorify themselves as if they woke up they woke themselves up in the morning and created themselves and pestilence but i'm not even going to tell you what's going on right now okay i'm not even going to mention it you know what's going on right now with this pest so-called pestilence and earthquakes all right in diverse places and a hey, earthquakes don't just happen in california you know they happen all over the world you know all right, the biggest earthquake that hit Argentina, Chile region was the 1960 Valdivia earthquake. It was a 9.6 earthquake, and uh, the tsunamis. Because you know when you have a high multitude, high magnitude earthquake, like a 7.0 or higher, are right, you gonna have a tsunami warning? All right, just how like uh, that earthquake that hit Alaska um, about a year and a half ago. You know, you saw the images of uh, that earthquake where, uh, hey, basically the um, the roads caved in, all right? People seem to forget about it because this boogeyman pestilence is going out. Hey, but the Lord is going to bring even more pressure, man. You know, uh, we just came out of hurricane season. The Lord did his thing with the hurricanes down there in the Gulf Coast of, of uh, the southeastern United States and the Caribbean islands. And I wouldn't be surprised, even in the midst of this pandemic, he sends another natural disaster in form of an earthquake. You got the Cascadia fault line. And uh, the Pacific Northwest, you have the New Madrid fault line that's in um, parts of uh, the Midwest and the Southeast. Of course, you got the San Andreas fault line. And down here in Chile, all right, you have the uh, Atacama fault line, which basically goes 683 miles north and south. All right, so that tsunami, those tsunamis, after the tsunami warnings, all right, there's basically tsunamis after this 1960 earthquake. In Chile, you know, and it, hey, even gonna be more earthquakes in uh, Chile to wake you uh, Israelites from the tribe of Naphtali up or whatever tribe is scattered over there as well. All right, but those tsunamis were felt all the way to Japan and the Philippines back in 1960. So, hey, we in these times that these fault lines are way overdue. All right, verse eight, all these are the beginning of sorrows. There's gonna be more sorrows upon the earth. All right. 2020 is going to get even worse. All right. Um, <clears throat> second as just 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the top diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. All right, verse 3, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, one happened today, all right, by the time you might hear this, it might be tomorrow, the 15th, but it says, 
earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. There's uproars all across the world for this pandemic. People can't eat. They're getting overtaxed. They don't have access to health, education like they used to. The people are fed up. There's a lot of sedition going on around the world. Verse 4, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, the end is manifest. All right? So I'm going to end it off on uh, 2nd Ezra 6. Because this is just simply a transition period between this wicked world all right, the earth has been given to the hands of the wicked. It's given into the hands of Esau and Edom. That's why you see freaks and geeks on television kissing each other, men dressing like women, women women kissing women. All right, pretty soon in America, man, pedophilia is going to be legalized, man. All that smut that was allowed uh, in World War, before World War II, before Hitler came into power, man, it's going to happen here in America, man. You know, they talked about the filth of uh, Berlin, all right, it's coming to Babylon. It's already been here. It's just going to get magnified, man. But this is the transition period, so us as in a know-how, we shouldn't freak out. We should be we should be rejoicing, man. This is this is getting better every day. Something happens every day. A rapper gets killed, all right? A natural disaster happens. More calamity. More economies going under, okay? We we're we're, we're tired of this oppression. So when we see these things, we're rejoicing. Meanwhile, two-thirds of our people Want to live their best life, so they want this place to keep on going. Verse uh, second chapter six and seven. Then answered I and said, "What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth?" Verse eight. And he said unto me, "From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Esau's hand held first the hill of Esau." All right, and you can go back to uh, Genesis, the 25th chapter, and read the account of uh, Jacob and Esau, all right? All right, Esau is the progenitor of the so-called white race, although you have uh, dark-skinned tears out here. Like, we believe that Kamala Harris is a dark-skinned tear, all right? But uh, Jacob is the progenitor of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And I'm going to look up this word asunder, all right, in verse 7. All right, it says, Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? So asunder means apart or divided. So what shall be the parting, dividing of the times? All right. Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand, Hell first the hill of Esau. Alright, that's symbolic. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, the beginning of the kingdom of heaven. No more sickness and death and oppression for the Hebrew Israelites. Alright? But Esau, he's going head first in slavery. Read Jeremiah 30 and 16 and Revelation 13, 9 and 10. Hey, so with that, hey, more signs are coming and uh Shalom.